Week four of the NFL season, it's time for Cooking with Carmen. If you tuned in last week, we had a bit of a fire here in the kitchen. Uh, something went vastly wrong, left me with the kitchen looking like this. Yes, but we've repaired it all week. We've got five plays up for you this week, and hopefully we can do a lot better and get some of those Michelin stars. If you like the content here at Wager Talk TV, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. 172,000 subscribers and growing each and every day. We're trying to hit that 200K mark, and you guys can help us. And then drop a like uh, or a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this week's plays. And all right, let's uh, get this started. Uh, we're going Houston Texans. We're looking at the Houston Texans Jaguars game here. Minus five and a half in this one for the Texans. Uh, and we've got to kick it off with them. Uh, you look at the Jags, second straight game on the road, short week for them after getting humiliated in Buffalo on Monday night. And not only that, if you thought uh, Will uh, Levis was bad, Trevor Lawrence, 27th ranked QB right now, 75.1 uh, QB rating. And they roll into uh, Houston with a 2-7 and seven ATS record, their last nine games dating back to last season. Uh, give me the Texans here, minus 5.5. Next, uh, we're going to the Jets. I don't know, guys, if it's just me uh, and the fact that I love to cook, or did Aaron Rodgers look like he was on mushrooms <laughs> in that game against the Patriots. Whatever he was on, he looked good. He's For a 40-year-old man who qualifies for a discount at CVS, he was slinging it, and uh, they were winning. That defense looked extremely good. I don't like uh, the fact that uh, Knicks has to go on the road again, looking to for a second consecutive upset. Not against this Jets D that brought it last week, and they're going to bring it again this week. Jets are going to win this by two, uh, two TDs or more. Give me the Jets laying the number. San Fran, well, you talk about Ds that didn't show up. They might have been stuck in that L.A. traffic, the Niners defense. But this is a great spot for them to bounce back against a Patriots team that we expected them to look all season long like they looked last week against the Jets. I don't see them showing up this week either. Give me San Fran here, even with the numerous injuries. We'll lay the 10. They win this by a couple TDs or more. All right, uh, we're heading to Vegas for this one, guys. We're really ro rolling the dice on this one. We're taking Cleveland plus, do, uh, plus two on this one. Uh, they looked uh, terrible against the Giants at home. Uh, they hit the road, and sometimes that's the best medicine. How does Stefanski do? He is 8-2-1 and one against the spread off a loss when his team is an underdog the next time out. They're a dog here. It's only two points. It's snake eyes. We're going to roll the dice and hope it doesn't come out craps on this one. Give me Cleveland plus two in this one. Finally, we're going to close it out with the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm not sure what uh, Bengals team that was that we saw on Monday night, but uh, another loss like that, and they might as well call themselves the Bungles. Uh, we're going to take them here to bounce back uh, in this one. Six and one against the spread. Their last seven when facing an NFC team on the road. And 4-0 straight up and against the spread against the NFC South. Give me Cincinnati, uh, this one, laying the four and a half. Those are your five plays, guys. The Texans, the Jets, San Fran, Cleveland, and Cincy. It can't possibly be any worse than last week. We're going to bounce back in a big way. Let's get a 5-0 and day. I'll be happy with 4-1. and Remember to hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment in the comment section below, guys. And uh, we'll see you for week five, regardless of how this week ends. But the kitchen's under repair, and we're going to bounce back in a big way.